Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. It is going to be focused on your love life. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. So what is going on in Leo's love life right now? What is going on in Leo's love life? So let's see. Okay, very interesting. Right, so you have some very unique cards that have come out, Leo. I feel like for many of you, you are on this precipice of a new beginning, a new start, something that is different than what you are accustomed to. I'm picking up those kind of energies that are showing up very much so. I'm also noticing from these energies that for both you and this individual that you've been dealing with, the two of you have been in and out of each other's life for some time. It feels like there's a history here. It feels as if there's this energy of which, you know, both you and this person, you know, have not been able to disentangle from one another completely. This could be due to the fact that the two of you have kids or share pets and animals or it could be due to the fact that in your specific situation you know you've felt this very pure joy connected to this person and there's a part of you that wants to revitalize that there's a part of you that doesn't want to let that go so it's a very beautiful sort of connection because it does have this element of which it has stood the test of time you know the longer you are with a person the more you grow into their soul and the more they grow into your soul you know if you've been in a long-term relationship you know how very wonderful it is so disentangling from an individual is not as easy as what people would think it is right so i feel like what i'm seeing here as well is that right now your connection with this individual is really on very shaky terms it feels as if you don't know where you stand with this person this person doesn't know where they stand with you it feels like there's this energy of which you know before the two of you could work things out, before the two of you could find a way through whatever it is you were dealing with in your relationship with this individual. But at this point in time, it feels as if it's a little bit difficult or a little bit challenging, right? Uh, there could be reasons for this. Maybe your person is being very secretive or you're being very secretive. This is energy that is also coming across, which is lending itself to illusions, right? Maybe you have a certain illusion about this person. Maybe they have a certain illusion about you. Now, I feel like your person, some of you are dealing with someone who's very successful or on their way to being successful and picking up those energies here specifically. Uh, they could be somebody that is uh, a high achiever. And they could have been drawn to you for that reason. You know, maybe they see some qualities that are similar in you that is already inside of them. I feel like this individual, you know, they're taking a very different stance compared to you. There's an element of being a little bit rigid, a little bit in their ways, whereas your energy is trying to be very connected to, to your uh, logic, trying to be rational, trying to be, you know, thinking uh, of a situation but from a non-emotional perspective I'm picking that up from your energy right now some of you are trying not to allow the situation to govern your emotions or to take over your world because I feel like you know maybe the last few months has been a really um, hectic sort of thing for you guys you might have felt as if you were uh, literally inside of a tumble dryer for this connection 
and it had a very big effect upon you, you know. So I feel like uh, there's a sense here of dealing with a situation where your person is sort of, um, you know, procrastinating or pushing their responsibilities away from, um, you know, the front end of their face. It's like they don't want to deal with it right now and picking up those energies. What's interesting in this situation is that for many of you, you know, you are not going to be um, single for long. It feels like that kind of energy where if anybody sort of gets one whiff of the fact that you are not together with this individual or perhaps that you are not in a serious connection, there might be some other potential suitors coming in and picking up those kind of energy. There's a potential for that, so do keep that in mind. For some of you, you might feel deeply attracted to someone in your workplace already. Uh, they could be someone that has their eyes on you. Maybe you were introduced to this person via your friends at work too as well. They might know that, okay, things are not working out 100% between you and this individual concern. There's room for something new, potentially. So I do pick up that type of energy here that's coming through. Some of you might have brushed it off and said, you know, you don't really want to deal with that. Or maybe your heart is still with this individual. But for others, I feel like you might be keen on exploring that, right? I feel like the energies are also indicating here that in this specific situation, you know, this person you're dealing with is trying very much to try to heal. It feels like those kind of energies. But someone in this situation uses their work as a cover up to uh, sort of, you know, cover up the pain. It feels like that. Or maybe try to pretend as if what's going on between the two of you is not really happening the way uh, that uh, you would think it is. if you try to come back together at one point in time uh, but it just didn't work some of you might have moved in back together with one another might have tried one more time to fix the connection as a whole but it just didn't pan out the way that you wanted it to because there's a sense of sadness here in the situation that is connecting the two of you at this point in time so I feel like you know there's a sense of you know, your relationship not going anywhere and you're not knowing where you stand, this person not knowing where they stand. There's a lot of indecision. There's a lot of illusions. There's a lot of assumptions. There's a lot of energies which are saying, you know, which way uh, from here. It feels like that kind of energy, but yet neither you or this person concerned has a clue. It feels like that kind of thing that's coming through. I feel like your person is trying to be steady, stable, and trying to be as grounded as possible, but it hasn't been easy for them because they feel like there's an energy of which they know something is up in the situation. Um, so some of you are having a hard time reconciling your emotions with uh, your current situation. It's like you've just disconnected. There's a part of you that has switched off. It feels like that kind of energy where you've switched off. Some, some of you are feeling numb. I'm picking up that energy of which you're actually feeling very, very numb. And it's very hard for you to experience emotions at this point in time. It's very hard for you to look out of the window and find joy. It's very hard for you to find that sense of you know peace because something is not right here. It feels like that kind of energy. Uh, maybe this is the uncomfortable energy that happens when two people are sort of um, recognizing that something here is not where it should be and something needs to be fixed, but neither you or this person have a solution at hand, right? So that's where you have to call in the experts, I feel. So the next energy that I'm getting from this particular situation is that, um, you know, the kind of solutions that you've been looking towards to get you out of the situation hasn't been providing you with that sort of outlet to get you out of the situation. I'm picking that up as well. Um, I'm also sensing here from the situation there is this energy of which, you know, uh, not wanting to look outside for love, but love being available, not just through this individual, but from someone else. I feel like that. Uh, some of you have some very strong opinions on whether you will date someone from within your workplace or you will date someone that is introduced to you. It feels as if some of you are highly against that. Maybe you are the type of individual that doesn't like to mix business with pleasure. But I feel like, you know, some of you might be closing off your options here because there's something about your energy wanting 
happily ever after marriage and commitment from the specific person so much to the point where if you go and you try to have it with someone else you feel like you're betraying this person at hand who couldn't provide it to you it feels like you might have to take a closer look at that leo uh, definitely uh, you know something to explore now the next energy i'm seeing here is an indication from your person that they're sort of putting the situation on the back burner on the back burner it's like they are on this non-stop cycle spiral of procrastination it's like i'll deal with it later i'll deal with it later i'll deal with it later i'm getting that from this individual very heavily so and um the reason why they haven't been able to heal is because of something from the past uh, might have happened between the two of you or happened somewhere else in some other situation. I feel like the energies are suggesting here yeah, that, you know, the two of you work well together as a couple. But when it comes to trying to get something a little bit more out of them, trying to take it to the full circle, trying to take it to, um, you know, the climax in the situation, it just doesn't, you know, occur. If for whatever reason, it just doesn't happen. So something obviously is going on here. It could be related to your person not being able to heal from something in the past. It could be related from the fact that in this situation, you know, uh, the, there's a changeable quality in your person, even though they are steady and stable. So I feel like there's so many different dynamics here. What I'm going to be exploring in the extended is why hasn't your connection been able to reach its full sort of potential. I'm also going to be looking at why are you closing yourself off to any potential new love because there could be available to you. How would that play out in this situation? Why is your person putting this off? It's like, you know, even if you are engaged with this person, because I'm not picking up like the two of you are completely separated. I'm not picking that up 100%. It could be that the two of you are together, but they're just putting things off. They're like, oh, well, later, maybe some other time, some other time. It's that kind of energy. Why are they procrastinating? Uh, what's the deal in that sense, you know? And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be exploring as well as your person's mind, heart and soul energy. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. Have a beautiful day. You can find the link for the extended in the description box below. Take care.